Hi everyone, in my previous video, I talked about the three things that most Cardano skeptics were missing about the projects. But what are the things that could actually make Cardano fail? While everyone is presenting the reasons why it could win, it's very rare to see people laying out the reasons it could fail. In this video, I'm going to share with you the three things that I think are the biggest risk for Cardano. Hi everyone, it's Jerome again coming at you with new content. If that's your first video on the channel, please note that my goal is not to make you richer financially, but richer emotionally and intellectually. Hopefully what I share with you helps you get closer to financial freedom and empowerment. All right, let's jump right into it. Risk number one, failure to innovate. The first risk that I see for Cardano is falling behind in terms of innovation. The cryptocurrency space is a very competitive space and new sophisticated new entrants are joining every single day. They are all bringing millions of dollars of fresh capital with the aim to push innovation further and disrupt the status quo. Cardano via IOHK is innovating at a rapid pace today, especially thanks to the work of researchers and engineers. But what could stop the project from innovating? Well, you remember what I said in the last video. The biggest asset of a company is not the bank account it has, not the technology, it's the people it has. You understand why Charles Hoskinson is trying to defend so bad the people he has and the academic researcher IOHK hired because he knows that they are key contributors of pushing innovation forward. The risk is that if key people like this are leaving your company for other projects, you're losing in innovation power. So having your talent stolen from you is a real operational risk in my opinion. This can materialize if a big competitor joins the ecosystem and chases Cardano's talent. My thinking is that most of the engineers will stay because more than just money, they are believing in what Cardano is trying to achieve. You'll note that this is also the reason why some of the third generation blockchains are building treasuries. Because the innovation should happen on the ecosystem level in a decentralized way with people from the community taking grants to innovate in the direction people voted for. The goal is to be able to fund innovation even if the core infrastructure and the team leave the initial group of people. It should still have the resources to push projects forward. Having innovation concentrated is a real risk that the treasuries are mitigating. All right, risk number two, people stop believing in Cardano's core values. If for some reason, people start to lose faith in the mission of Cardano and stop believing in its core values, I think the project will be at risk. Having very strong values is Cardano's biggest strength but also its biggest responsibility. If during the expansion phase, holders are feeling that Cardano is not honoring what it stood for, they might start getting disappointed and cheated on their original intent. So it's very important for Cardano to always come back to its core values. If Cardano wants to preserve its purpose-driven intent, I think we need two things. First, we need developers in the ecosystem to never lose sight of the original purpose Cardano had. The designs of new protocols and applications should always put the users first. The second thing that will be important if you want to preserve this is to make sure that we're giving our votes to people that are embracing and defending Cardano's values. Otherwise, we will be at risk of losing or eroding the initial values, missions, and dreams that we had. You're also probably thinking about the risk of Charles dying, and to address this, I made a very specific video to give my opinion. While he is an important part of spreading Cardano's awareness today, not having Charles around won't be a long-term risk. I will share the link in the description down below if you want to learn more about this. All right, last risk, risk number three, an entire crypto system collapse. The less likely yet possible risk that could push Cardano to collapse, in my opinion, is an entire crypto system failure. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain are a relatively new innovation. 
Bitcoin is only a decade old and the risk of another innovation disrupting blockchain is not zero. Don't forget that systemic risks are part of the game and cryptocurrencies are still very nascent. It's very easy to get ahead of ourselves when it comes to innovation. And we need to make sure that we keep a level-headed approach in order to make good decisions. On the other hand, the longer Cardano in crypto survives, the higher the chance of Lindy effect kicking in increases. What the Lindy effect says is that the more an idea survives, the higher its life expectancy. What it means is that every day that passes with an innovation surviving, the higher the chance we keep it for the long term. The Lindy effect is a very important model for us to think straight because we often overestimate the young and don't give enough credit to the old. The old has survived and has stood the test of time. So we tend to have a mental error and logical bias. New things are often easier to hype up, but it's also true that the new and young are also fragile. 99 out of 100 new startups are likely to go out of business, but it's not the case with older businesses. I'm among the ones that believe that truth will win out in the end, that cryptocurrencies will provide a better alternative to our current monetary system, but I'm mentally prepared to lose everything. For those that want to support my mission, please consider subscribing to the channel or staking with my Cardano Republic stake pool. You can also join my Telegram or Discord channel. We discuss investment ideas and strategies. Thank you guys so much for the support. All right, so today's French quote of the day is short and sweet. Ce que l'on risque révèle ce que l'on vaut. What we're willing to risk reveals what we're worth. So don't be afraid to go deep in your convictions. Convictions are made to go big. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join the Telegram and Discord channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. That was Jerome, and until next time, bye-bye.